Welcome back to ACC PM. We've got a new face of the Virginia Tech women's basketball pro program. There she is. Get to know her. Megan Duffy has made her way to Blacksburg officially today via plane. She comes, like I said, from Marquette. And here is a, a little bit about the newest face in the Atlantic Coast Conference. She's been great there in Milwaukee. Uh, made the NCAA tournament the last two consecutive years. Before that, she was at Miami of Ohio. Uh, fastest coach in Marquette history to 100 wins. So, you know, she racked up those W's, and that's what she plans to do now with the Hokies. Right. With that said, let's bring on uh, Coach Duffy as she makes her debut on the program. First of all, Coach, uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to the ACC, and congratulations. Woo. I know you're thrilled. Thank you. I'm so thrilled. I'm excited to be on the show. I've seen a lot from afar, so it's great to be, uh, <laughs> be on with you. Well, you have walked into a wonderful place. I just told you that during the break. And uh, Hokie Nation, uh, man, they've been incredibly supportive with women's basketball. Obviously, Kenny Brooks did a great job. He's now moved on. And you come rolled in there into a league that is just, as you well know, loaded and stacked. But again, I, I think it takes a special breed to say, guess what? Let's get to work and let's go compete. Absolutely. How about Hokie Nation? I, I learned real quick in this process, you know, coaching changes and people moving on is difficult, but uh, just in a short time, I, I couldn't be more thrilled to be the head women's basketball coach here, um, watching this program for, uh, from afar with the success and the fan base is absolutely just incredible. Um, so to be now the leader of this program, you know, to keep momentum building in the best conference in the country, uh, I'm extremely just grateful and just, just ready to get going like you mentioned. I love when we have new coaches on because the process of of the hiring and how it all goes down and, and then you eventually get a phone call and there's a conversation. How did it pan out for you? What was that? What was that phone call? What were you doing that uh, they said, hey, we'd like to extend this offer. And, and then you obviously said yes. It was a really quick and really seamless transition. You know, when Coach Brooks moved on, I had the opportunity to talk to, to Whit Babcock and, and just dug into so many things about his vision to keep you know this program moving in the right direction. I always love a challenge, whether that's being in this league or playing you know against the top competition in the country. Um, but just what the institution stands for. I just think we can recruit amazing, amazing women to this place. The fan support is already built. Um, they're just so supportive. They're like little rock stars here on campus. And I think uh, with something that's important to me that I can you know recruit families that can get the best of both worlds, the high level of basketball a great academic experience and then just just the culture of a place that breeds winning and breeds just um, you know developing young women is, is super important to me you know I don't know what it is about the uh, Marquette Virginia Tech pipeline I mean we went with the uh, Buzz Williams he, he goes Marquette uh, to Blacksburg and of course he went on to A&M and now here you come rolling into town uh, I, I don't know what's the story with all that stuff I mean Milwaukee's a beautiful place but you know Blacksburg special too but, you know, you got your ties to the Midwest, obviously playing at Notre Dame and so forth. Uh, your understanding of the ACC, I'm, I'm sensing that you know exactly what you've signed up for here. I do. I know exactly what I signed up for. Like I mentioned, the best conference in the country. I, I just, you know, I've been able to watch from afar and see this program get to a Final Four. I think we can do it again. Um, you know, you're constantly building your roster and trying to get the right pieces that fit your program. Um, you know, I don't know if there's a lot of comparison to me, me and Buzz Williams, but <laughs> I know, you know, we've won a lot of games across our careers and, and you continue to do the same and um, just just no better place to do it. I, I just I've fallen in love already uh, with Hokie Nation and can't wait to continue, you know, the tradition going and, you know, meet more people and just even understand it a little bit better. Style of ball is is different for every coach. Everyone has their own personality. So for Hokie Nation, who maybe hasn't watched the Marquette women and what you've done over the last several years, what should we all anticipate? Sure, yeah. You know, my, my programs historically have been extremely tough. Get the most out of our student athletes. Um, there's a certain drive about our teams and enthusiasm to play. Even on the sidelines for me, very passionate in what I do. You know, <laughs> we're, we're a team that's, that wants to be versatile. Obviously, want to get up and down the floor at a high pace. Um, just put our, our players in positions to be successful. That's what I'm learning here very quickly. Um, the pieces we have here, there'll be a few more we have to add. Um, but again, the offense will be exciting for fans to watch. And then defensively, we're going to get after it, be hard-nosed. We'll be diving on the floor for the loose balls and hitting the ground. So really looking forward to building that you know, over the next few months. And then by the time the season hits again, um, we'll have a great product on the floor. Megan, obviously you had uh, success as a player and obviously as a coach too. 
But the, are you even surprised and amazed about how unbelievable the women's game is now and how quickly over the last couple of years it's now just become must-watch television? Guys, it's absolutely incredible. I think, you know, for decades we've been trying to find that platform and attention and, you know, there's been so many players who have paved that way. And then just to see, you know, a couple things, you know, arenas getting filled, sellout crowds, you know, even – here in Blacksburg, what this these, this fan base and fan support means to to this community and in the ACC is incredible. Um, but then you look on the national scene where there's there's star power with the names. You know Hannah Hidalgo, who was a freshman. You, you guys know the name of of Caitlin Clark and Juju Watkins from West Coast back to the East Coast. So I think that's only going to continue. And the more recognition and, and attention these women are getting. Um, for doing it the right way, being phenomenal leaders as well. I think there's there's no ending point in this. So it's just really cool to see whether it's young kids, families, maybe people who have never watched the women's game, just see those t television ratings go up um, and just loving what they're seeing. And, and I wanted to obviously help do uh, my piece and, and help and grow um, not only Virginia Tech, but our league and then obviously attention across the national stage. Yeah, I'm heading to Cleveland in the morning. I'm so excited because it's going to be such an historic weekend. Uh, for the women's game and and I know it's only going to get bigger uh, you're on campus obviously as we see from the background I know what that room is it's a small little room there <laughs> in, underneath the basketball arena in Castle Coliseum and and uh, so we appreciate you going in there to do this interview with us have you had a chance to meet with the girls who are on campus and and really sit down and chat because you know you come in it's a whirlwind for you and it's a whirlwind for everyone there too yeah, it's been an emotional week, you know, anytime there's change. And, you know, as a head coach, you have to do so many things and put different hats on. But still the core of, of what I love to do and why I do this is, is the young women you get to coach. And I had the opportunity, um, you know, in a bittersweet moment, say goodbye to my team at Marquette and then move forward with my, my team at Virginia Tech. And what an incredible couple hours just spending time with them, getting to know them, um, you know, about them off the court, on the court. And, and that's only going to continue to grow. And and hopefully build an incredible bond. And, and again, the, the culture and chemistry that you have to have to be successful, you know, to win championships and, and cut down nets is, is critical. And um, it's been the best part of my day, other than talking to you guys. Oh, yeah. um, but it's been, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been awesome to, to see the future and where we're going. Well, the best part of the day should be waking up in Blacksburg and going over to Carol's Donuts and getting a uh, six pack of donuts and some call. You'll find out Got quickly in Blacksburg the spots to go to. But that, that's how I would start my morning in Blacksburg and everything from there is a piece of cake, literally. Um, I mean, you guys, you guys, you guys hit it on the head. Um, there were donuts on the plane ready to go. So <laughs> ah, very, very you taste go. Of what it's going to be like. <laughs> you got it. Uh, as far as the recruiting base goes, um, the mindset there, again, obviously you've got roots in the, in the Midwest and so forth. The game's now become such a national game that you can appeal to everyone. But from a recruiting perspective, what, what's the first thing you do? Yeah, I think obviously our, our, our point today was to establish the relationships with our, our current team. There's obviously a huge dynamic with the transfer portal going on right now, so we're going to have to add a, a couple pieces and making sure it's it's young women who, who fit our style and culture and you know, want to make an impact. And then from the recruiting spectrum, you know, obviously our area is a hotbed with, you know, the, the DMV area, you know, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and then obviously up and down the East Coast. But what's happening, as you see with the national recognition, you can go tap into some different areas and even bring in new teams into the league. Um, you know, our, our name and our brand will be out, you know, coast to coast. So I'm looking forward to, you know, just, just building that and, and keeping an open mind about all players across the country from the national scene because, Obviously, this is an incredible league, and we can recruit the best of the best. And it'll be, a, while it's a great challenge, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity as well. Oh, yeah, this is the Atlantic Coast to Coast Conference now. We all know that. <laughs> We're getting ready to expand. Uh, obviously, we've mentioned you played at Notre Dame for one of our favorites, Hall of Famer Muffet McGraw. Uh, when you watched her coach, and I know you've probably learned from her and picked her brain over the years, what's, what are some things about her as a coach that have stuck with you on your journey now? Well, I'm so jealous you guys get to hang out with her more than I do. But, um, you know, Coach McGraw has been an influential person in my life. And, you know, she impacted me so much as a player. And I, I tell this story that I'm not, I'm not sure I would be in college coaching in the position I'm in if I didn't, you know, play for somebody like her who just had that, that perfect balance of tough love and pushing you to your max, but also just, you know, giving you that support and encouragement. Um, she was always somebody that I take to this day coaching that was so prepared in everything she did, worked extremely hard you know, had good relationships with her players. 
um, and just was a just a fierce competitor. And as a mm -hmm. as a woman leader in this this business, I've tried to carry on some of those traditions. And you know, she's she's obviously somebody still important in my life. And you know, when I when I got the job, I said, hey, I'm going to be not too far from you in you know ACC country and and hopefully being on the network as well. So just somebody that um, has been so good to our game and continues to push women's athletics and support um, coaches, you know, not only in our league, but around the country. Megan, you won't believe how close you're going to get to a Muffet McGraw because uh, we have a little special guest for you here uh, just to start things up today. And there we go. Hey. No way. Hey. Hey. Hi, well, Coach. Megan, I wanted a chance to publicly congratulate you and welcome you to the ACC. I knew from the first moment you stepped on our court as a point guard, the smartest player on the floor, did such a great job as a leader, and I've watched your career, and I've been so thankful when you invite me up to practice, to see you practice. I love what you're doing with these teams that you've had. You've been so successful everywhere you've been. I'm thrilled that you're going to be on the ACC Network, and we're going to get to talk to you all the time as you build the program, or rebuild the program, I think, a little bit at Virginia Tech. But the only thing I wanted to ask you is that, has Kevin found a golf course yet? Because he's going to be able to play a little more often than he did at Marquette. Yeah, the weather's changing, and uh, that was a, almost a deal breaker. We had to get, you know, my husband on, on the links, making sure he was taken care of. But, Coach, what a surprise. You guys got me on my first appearance of uh, bringing somebody really special into my life, and uh, I, I can't wait to get this going. Obviously, it's been a whirlwind, but, Coach, you know you mean the world to me, and I can't wait to talk more about, you know, the Hokies and our program and, and the conference. And of course, I feel the same about you. I'm so proud of you. Everybody at Notre Dame is so proud of you to see the great work you're doing on and off the court. And we just wish you the best. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. All right, Muffet. We got the go. hookup, you know. We Megan, just made a couple calls. That's it, Megan. We're done. I mean, <laughs> other than uh, giving you a donut tip and uh, bringing in Coach, we're, we're all finished here. We, we got nothing else for you. We, we got nothing. We got nothing. Man, you guys made my day. That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, well, listen, we wish you nothing yeah. but the best, and uh, we look forward to many, many interviews down the road, and we'll let you get to work. But, again, uh, welcome to the league. Welcome to Virginia Tech, and uh, we're really looking forward to putting, uh, watching you put the work in because it's going to be a lot of fun, no question. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it. You got it, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Take care. Off you go. Uh, when we come back, uh, believe it or not, we're going to, I think, go back to the food court up there in Cleveland. I am hungry. I'm assuming Kelly Gremmick's the food court and not back into her palatial estate. We'll discuss it next here on ACCPM.